Okay, students, so welcome back to the class. And today's topic is planning, monitoring, and evaluation, and concept of business plan. As you know, planning is deciding about the future course of action. Planning, monitoring, and evaluation is an essential component of any business plan or any organized activity because it is very important to plan well, then implement the plans, keep on monitoring, and then go for evaluation to check whether it is going as per the plan or not. So planning, monitoring, and evaluation is key even to the business plans or entrepreneurship. Planning, monitoring, and evaluation and follow-up are the key managerial functions. Once the plan is prepared and implemented, its monitoring and evaluation are essential to see whether the plan is proceeding as per the original plan or there is any deviation. So this is, this is the key purpose of planning, monitoring, and evaluation. Any organized activity, be it a business, starts with a plan. Planning is essential. A good plan guarantees the success. So it is very important that we go for a good plan, decide about the future course of action by considering all the nitty gritties, minutes of the business, the problems, the constraints, everything. Who will do, how it will be done, where it will be done, when it will be done. So it is very important that when we go for planning, we should incorporate as many things as possible in the plan uh, so that in future, the business performs, goes on smoothly. Then the next step is monitoring. When the plan is implemented, it is very important that we should supervise those plans. We should keep continuous monitoring on the activities which are going in the business. Hmm? And then, compare whether it is going as per the original plan or not. And then the third is evaluation. Evaluation is equally important. Evaluation means hmm, appraisal of performance, performance of the business, performance of the workforce. So these are the components that come under evaluation. So planning, monitoring, and evaluation is one of the biggest challenge and one of the emerging areas which is very essential, which is very, uh, this plays a very essential role in organizations in business. If deviations are found, it is essential that you go for mid-course correction, okay, and then implement the alternative plans or the correct plan. In case of enterprise planning, okay, when we consider enterprise, planning is related to business plan activities. So a business plan is a written document that provides details of the business, its goals, and the methods to be followed to achieve these goals. So what is a business plan? It is a written document that contains information about the business, the goals of the business, the methods and procedures which will be followed in the business, it is a roadmap for entrepreneur, uh, which is to be followed in the future. Main purpose of a business plan is, it provides logical and structural overview of enterprise, highlighting the key activities to be carried out in different phases. So it, it, it contains the logical and structural overview. It gives the logical and structural overview of an enterprise, highlighting the key activities. So it depicts, it shows the key activities to be carried out in different phases. It provides guidelines to compare ongoing progress. So we have a plan and then we have the activities which are being pursued, which are going on. And it gives the guidelines to compare both as we plan and you know, what is going on. So it identifies the key resources, manpower, machine, time. These are the key resources which are being applied, which are applied in the business to accomplish the goal required at different stages of growth of enterprises. 
Then the next is it helps in making management and the employees aware about future activities. So since it contains all the details about the future, it is easy to refer the business plan and see what is required to be done in the future. So it gives all details about the future activities. And then it is an authentic document for communicating with financiers, government, and other stakeholders. While we go for, while an entrepreneur approaches the banks or other institutions, they ask for, where is your business plan? Hmm? Where is the roadmap of your business? And so this business plan plays a very authentic role uh, in connecting with the institutions and communicating with the financial government and other stakeholders. The steps in business planning process. As any organized activity, business planning also involves certain processes. And these steps are, first step is idea generation. We have already discussed about this step, idea generation. Ideas are the key to any organization. Good idea, creative idea, innovative ideas are very essential for any business for any organization to succeed. So this is the first step, idea generation step, where various idea generation processes are applied and then good ideas are screened out and implemented. Then the second is assessing the environment. When we go for business, an entrepreneur has to face both macro and micro environment, external or internal environment. And we have also discussed about this. Macro environment are those factors which affect from the outside of the organization. And micro or internal environment is within the organization. Okay, so it is necessary to analyze both macro and micro environments to know the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats faced by the organization or an entrepreneur. It is very important while pursuing a business, while going for a business while planning a business it is very essential that an entrepreneur should be aware of what are his strengths what are his business you know what are his uh, constants weaknesses and then what are the threats that he has to face in the future or he will have to face in the future so this is very important and any business plan is prepared considering all these factors so this sort analysis is very important then third is feasibility analysis. <clears throat> On finding the environment suitable, once the environment is found suitable for the enterprise, it is essential to go for the feasibility analysis. So the detailed feasibility study is to be carried out, namely market feasibility, technical or operational feasibility, and financial feasibility. So business plan should be feasible, should be economically viable, and it is therefore very essential that while going for a making business plan or a business plan must contain these feasibility analysis. Then fourth is project report preparation. When we have the idea, when we have the strengths and weaknesses known, when we have the feasibility report, then the next step is to go for project report preparation. Using the information so far collected, a project report or a business plan is prepared. As we discussed, a business plan is a written document describing a steps by a steps a strategies to establish and operate an enterprise. So it contains all the steps which are required to pursue the business. And the next step is evaluation, control, and review. This is very, very, very important step. It is necessary for an enterprise to continuously evaluate the functioning and take necessary measures in accordance to the changes which are taking place. The world is dynamic, the economy, the entire economic environment is highly dynamic and therefore to keep pace with those, it is essential that it should be monitored at a regular interval. Continuous monitoring is, and evaluation is essential so that necessary steps can be taken if it is required. Then the next is developing a business plan. A business plan is an important step in establishing any new enterprise we have already discussed. It acts as a roadmap to guide the future of the enterprise and provide direction for expansion, diversification, and evolution of the enterprise. So 
developing a business plan is a challenge and requires technical skills. Hmm? The format of a business plan contains various informations. And what is the format? The business plan should be professional so that enterprise portrayed in a positive manner. Hmm? Financial assistance is obtained based upon business plan. We should keep in mind that when we go for the financial assistance, the bankers, the financiers ask for the business plan. And if our business plan is good, convincing, it has uh, prepared in a technical and scientific way, hmm, it looks feasible, then it is easier to get the finance. A business plan should include executive summary. Hmm? It must include an executive summary, mission statement, why this business is hmm, going to be pursued, mission, what is the mission of the business, goods and objectives, background information, organizational matters, marketing plan, and financial plan. Hmm? So a business plan is a comprehensive documentation of various aspects huh? starting from mission executive summary mission statement objectives background information organizational matters hmm? uh, and then marketing plan and financial plan then contents of business plan it contains as we discussed first is executive summary executive summary is the summary of the uh, all the aspects which are included in the business plan so it provides salient descriptions of the business plan it outlines the direction and future plans or goods of the company the methods to be employed achieved and it also describes challenges that will be faced by the enterprise so this is the executive summary which gives brief description about all the aspects of the business. Then the next is mission, goals, and objectives. The mission statement should be short, should give the key ideas or reasons for existence of an enterprise. Yeah? So mission is, mission gives the idea about the existence of the business, why this business is going to be implemented. Yeah? So next is goals and objectives. Goals and objectives should be shown should show what the business wishes to accomplish and the steps needed to obtain the desired results. So a mission statement should be short and should give the key ideas we have already discussed. And goals and objectives should be specific. It should not be very vague. It should be specific. It should be measurable, should attainable, reasonable, and time bound. Then the third is background information. This covers information about history of the enterprise, the current state of the industry in which enterprise falls, and information from the reputed sources about future of industry in which enterprise falls. So it should cover about, about a brief description about the background. Then the next is organizational structure. This includes description about the organizational structure, management team, risk management, etc. These are different form of organization structures. There are different forms of organization structures. The structures selected should be appropriate to the management skill and the style of the owners. So here we provide an entrepreneur provide the organizational structure, the board about the board of management who are the managers who are the finance managers so accordingly informations are provided then third is marketing plan it covers aspects like characteristics and advantages of product of the enterprise sale location promotion advertising pricing and as the associated cost of all market related activities so all the marketing aspects come under the market plan how the uh, entrepreneur will going to pursue the market how it will it is going to perform the market then next is financial plan this covers aspects types of records to be maintained hmm? signing authority of banking transactions financial assumptions financial projections etc hmm? so this is this is very important finance is one of the most 
essential component of any business and the financial plans are chopped out in the under the section financial plan so thank you very much uh,